Studio New Me. Now I'm sure you've heard this line several times to the point that it's almost cringe-worthy now. But although I look almost the same, and although the Mahindra XUV 400 that we're driving today looks almost the same, trust me, you're gonna wanna stay till the end of the video because what Mahindra has done to this car, it's been a complete transformation. Let's start off the year with the only way we see fit, a road trip. Let me take you on a journey where we try and get some good karma into our lives. Now, before we go any further, I want you to pause the video, but don't do it now. Wait for a bit, because I want you all to tell me where you would take this car on a road trip if I handed you the keys to it, because I just might. So where are we going on this road trip? We're not going to the hills, we're not going to the mountains, we're not going to the heartland. We're going to a very, very small village on the coast of Gujarat. A village that's special to me and my kind. No way, not unhealthy and all people, I mean Parsis. I bet you never heard of Woodwada. You know, Udwara is like a place that just sort of stopped evolving in the 1970s or 60s and just stood still with time. It's it's almost surreal, but it's not the temple that I love there the most. The one reason that I actually do like going to Udwara the most is the peace that I get when I go there, the, the silence of the place. It's almost like driving the XUV400, but quiet. Now look, let me recap just for a bit. When the last time I did a video on the XV400, I took it sort of rallying. And uh, I found two major, major drawbacks, two major issues. One was of course the lack of traction control, which got sorted with a big update that Mahindra did with the car in sort of mid to late 2023. And the other, well, that was the dashboard. What a huge difference this makes. The new dashboard. The XUV400's development team seriously has taken the new year, new me mantra very seriously. Everything is brand new in here. It's got a new screen. It's got a new instrument cluster, which is now completely digital, which was much, 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 much needed. It's got finally that new AC control and center cluster. I mean, that was the main reason the dashboard looked old. It's got a new steering wheel. It also has dual automatic climate control, rear AC vents, and a wireless charger. And it's even got a new variant. This then is the 2024 Mahindra XUV400 EL Pro. And it costs 70 lakh 49 thousand rupees. But there are more affordable versions too. Okay, let me spell out some straight up facts. Okay, 39.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, same as before. You do have a smaller battery pack option, but I choose this one because of course more range. And talking about range, the ARAI figure is 456 kilometers. Realistically, you're gonna get about 320. That's what we've been getting for the last couple of days. And you can charge to about 80% from almost 10 or 15% in just under an hour again. Tried and tested figures, not something that the manufacturer claims. I've done it thrice in the last three days. I can vouch on these figures. But you will need a 50 kilowatt charger. Again, those are getting more and more popular as EVs get more and more popular. And talking about chargers, wait till a little bit in the video because the charger that I'm gonna need to visit later is definitely the most interesting charger concept that I've ever heard of. As I crossed into Gujarat, the roads became buttery smooth. After all, Amul is based here too. So they do have a thing for making some great butter. You know, the more and more I drive EVs on a daily basis, the more I get amazed because a mass market EV like this with 300 plus kilometers of range means you can do trips like these, Mumbai to Udwada, which is about 190 kilometers in one shot without having to worry about charging. 
that is of course if I drive like a normal human being and not somebody who strung out on 10 cans of Red Bull. By the way, that's another great question for you guys to answer. So pause in the next 10 seconds and answer me this. I, when I'm driving, like a bottle of chilled, really, really chilled cold water and I take frequent stops to have a fresh coconut if I can find one on a road trip. What is your hydration solution? What do you guys drink when you're on a road trip? Tell me in the comments below. It also has one pedal driving that just makes it so easy to drive on the highway and you still get drive modes, you know, for a little squirt of hardcore acceleration. I'm never going to get tired of this feeling of outright brutal acceleration. <laughs> The only thing I fear in fearless mode is the fact that the range is going to deplete really, really quickly because of my really, really heavy right foot. I do hope that little trip to the temple keeps me in the good graces of the big man up above and gets me some good karma. I believe, yeah, I definitely do need to get some lightning juice into this car. So let's go find that charger. Now, the charger is about 80 odd kilometers away and I could take the highway and just make my life a lot easier. But I do have a little bit of range left, which is why we're taking the longer, more scenic route. unique charger that you will probably ever hear of it is well there's no app there's nothing it's just a normal little charger 30 kilowatt hour it's in a little city town called Danu uh, in rural Maharashtra sort of rural Maharashtra and all you have to do is plug it in and it starts charging there is no start on the app figure out if you have balance none of that there's a little board there it says what the current or today's charging rates are so it's 30 uh, rupees per unit kilowatt today. It'll show you how much you've charged. All you have to do is multiply that and pay. Well, if you don't pay, it's your bad karma. That's about it. So we're gonna leave this for charging for a bit and I'm gonna go find myself some coconut. And we're done, 100%. Yep, 100%. It's literally that simple, right? We've done 28.80 kilowatt hours. That's what we've consumed from this charger. 28.80 into 30 rupees. That's the charge of the day. And 864 bucks. And all I have to do, open my Google Pay, scan this, and I'm sending 864 bucks to this account. And we're done. Right, you can choose not to pay but then um, they might put your photograph on social media and say you didn't pay for the charging. So you should pay. And at the end of the day, if you don't pay, it's on your karma, isn't it? And we want good karma. That's why we visited the temple and that's why we visited this charger. It's all about the good karma today. upon us in the evening the gods came down to us had fear but i turned into a great performance through the wind and the rain i found my true purpose oh god 
What a great start to 2024. I mean, look, first ever road trip and it's electric. And I'm glad I did it with this because the XUV 400 EL Pro, long name I know, yes. But this is now a proper competitor in its segment. It wasn't earlier. I mean, look, it's the fastest, it's the most spacious and these copper accent pieces everywhere, which I have been a fan of since day one. It looks special too, in a different way, but it looks special. <laughs> It is comfortable, it is quiet, it handles well, it is built well. Mahindra finally has it right. And if this is even a 10% glimpse of what's about to come in the EV space wearing Mahindra badge, oh boy, we are in for some real rivalries just around the corner. See you in the comments then because I'm sure you're itching to tell me what you think of the updates on this and of course how it stacks up to its rivals. Yeah,